Assalamu alaikum students it's lecture number 34 uh, subject is english this video is for grade 4 topic for today is masculine and feminine so today's topic is this one so what is this masculine and feminine let's have a look all right so masculine and feminine refers to male and female nouns they are basically the gender of the nouns so there are some words that refers to male and there are some words that refers to female like boy is for male and girl is for female so there are many words that that refers to male and there's some words uh, i mean many words that refers to female fine like a uh, man uh, for uh, male and uh, women for female fine so mother for female father for male so there are some words when we say them we uh, it means that we're talking uh, it has some meaning that we're talking about male or we're talking about females like grandfather grandmother so there's specific words for females and males so here's the list of masculine and feminine words I mean the gender of the uh, different nouns written over here so i'm gonna read to you the first one is bachelor spinster bachelor means a boy uh, who is single who is not married and spinster is a girl who is uh, single and not married brother and sister you're familiar with this uh buck uh buck do buck uh, refers to uh, male animals it's not specific for uh, for an animal it can be used for i um, mean it can be used for deer it can be used for rabbits for kangaroos fine so buck and same uh, and doe is the opposite of buck then bull cow cod fillet and a cod is a, f a young Fe uh, sorry male horse and fillet is young female horse uh, drake duck emperor empress then the next one is uh it's a heiress or in american it can be air heiress fine but but uh, we uh, you know follow the british accent uh, pronunciation so uh, it's a Aris. A means a person that inherits the property or uh, or anything uh, from uh, his or her parents. Uh, fine. So A is for male and Aris is for female. Host, hostess, husband, wife, lord, lady, marquis, uh, marsh, marshness. Then it's it's a rank. Mayor and mayoress is also a rank. Nephew, niece, peacock, peahen, ram, you, you, uh, ram is for male sheep and you for female sheep, sir, madam. Stag, uh, hind, stag is for male deer, hind is for female deer. Stallion, mare, then comes uh, widower, widow, and wizard, witch okay so stallion is for adult horse male horse and mare is for adult female horse then comes widower widower is a person uh, whose wife uh, uh, dies and uh, when uh, someone's husband dies then that uh, female is called widow and same goes for the man whose wife dies so widower wizard means a man who has magical powers and which a female that has magical powers so there's some uh, i mean words for um uh, for males and for females masculine and feminine these are called so masculine uh, means male and feminine means female so here are some um exercises related to the uh two things masculine and uh feminine so it's written write the mass uh feminine gender of so you have to write the feminine gender of all these words like sir stallion lord mayor peacock emperor a marquis bull nephew uh then eh. 
fine so the, you can take help from the list you have to learn this list first and then solve these exercises same goes for the b part write the masculine uh, gender of duck spinster widow witch hi, uh, hind uh, fillet a uh, niece uh, uh, you doe and empress then comes in each sentence change the masculine noun to the feminine gender you may need to change other words too like um, if uh, I, if i tell you that for females we use the pronoun her for males we use him fine so uh, you have to see this thing as well the emperor had 20 sons so had goes for both male and for females fine so write the uh, mask write the uh, i mean feminine of this word emperor the beautiful peacock uh, strutted uh, about the lawn the driver of the bus was a young man the rich uncle sent a handsome uh, present the marquis is cruising in the mediterranean uh, the letter began dear sir so you have to change sir fine so here marquis and then uncle his nephew uh, sorry uh, here man and peacock then emperor that's it okay so last exercise is the d1 complete each sentence by using a noun of the opposite gender to that in the bold type so you have to see the bold words and you have to write the uh, i mean opposite gender of the bold words farmer bond keeps two bulls and eight dash the drake swam on the pond while the dash waddled round the farmyard with her little ones a record price was paid for the dash and the cow lord and dash brace were at the garden party the wool on the ram was thicker than on the dash the red deer stag had and an antlers uh, the dash had none so write the uh, opposite of stag ram lord cow drake bulls so it's quite easy first you have to learn this list and then you have to solve these exercises so and you can learn more words as well just search uh, online um, in internet and just find out a, a good list of masculine and feminine basically the genders and then just learn them it will enhance your vocabulary so that's all for today